Hi, and welcome to Lenscraft. Today, I'm looking at stitching panoramas using Affinity Photo. I'll also be doing a separate video showing the same image stitching in Adobe Photoshop, so you can compare the two. The approach I use for creating panoramas has three stages to it. Stage one is to shoot the frames for the panorama, which in this case, I've already done. In stage two, I process the raw files to prepare them for stitching. And in stage three, I actually stitch the frames together. In this video, we're looking at stages two and three. I've already shot the two frames that I want to stitch together and imported them to Capture One. I'm using Capture One because I shot the images with my Fuji X-T3 and I find Capture One gives the best results. I'll start by editing one of the two images. First, I'll turn off the distortion correction because I don't want it to stretch the image. I shot this with my Fuji 16 to 80 lens, which has quite a lot of distortion at the wide end. If you want to know about this lens, I've published a review on my website and I'll include the link in the video description below. I'll also tick the option for diffraction correction for reasons that I explain in the lens review. Next, I'll refine the image colors, starting with selecting a new color profile curve. For this image, I want to use the film high contrast curve because I like the effect on the shadows when I open them up. I'll also increase the color temperature to around 5,500. Moving over now to adjust the image tones, I'll use the high dynamic range sliders to recover the highlights and the shadows. I'll also tweak a few of the other adjustments to get the image looking the way I want. Finally, I'll adjust the sharpening and noise reduction. I can now copy my adjustments to the adjustment clipboard. I'll pick the second image, then apply the adjustments to that image. I'll now select both images to see them side by side. If there's any significant difference in the colour or brightness, I'll make further corrections to bring the two images into line. I can then export the two images ready for stitching. In this example, I'll export the images to my desktop as 16-bit TIFF files using the Adobe RGB color space. Now for stage three of the process where we stitch the images together in Affinity Photo. I'll start by creating a new panorama from the file menu. I can then add the two images that I want to stitch from my desktop. I'll then click the Stitch Panorama button and Affinity Photo does an initial thumbnail stitch. When I'm happy that I've got all the files for my panorama, I can click the OK button. Affinity then renders the panorama and opens the result in the panorama editor. You can see the curved distortion that's applied to the images to correct and create a good overlap. 
There's quite a lot of distortion because I shot the image using a 16mm focal length, which is 24mm in full frame terms. If you're shooting a panorama using a wide angle lens like this, it's best to use a panoramic head, which I didn't do. The hashed areas around the panorama are empty, and if I render this now, they come out as white space. But if I select the in painting option, Affinity Photo will fill the gaps in. The only areas I've found that it doesn't do this well for are the long thin edges that we have at either end of the image. I'm therefore going to crop the edges of the frame to remove these using the crop tool. Now I can click apply and Affinity makes the crop and renders the panorama. If I zoom in to inspect the repaired areas at 100% you can see that it's made a very good job of these. I can then apply any further editing adjustment to complete the image. Now if you haven't already seen it, I've created a second version of this tutorial using Photoshop. The first part of the tutorial is the same, but the stitching needs some additional steps. Even if you only use Affinity Photo, I think it's still interesting to see the differences. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Robin Wally, you've been watching Lenscraft, I'll see you next time for another video.